I promised you more Agora devices. Hi, in my previous video I've talked about Agara G2H which was a camera and a Zigbee hub. And I've already covered a couple of sensors from the same ecosystems, but today I wanted to talk about two new devices which I currently have in hands. They're quite interesting. These are wall switches, you know, something you would put behind a wall switch and operate your lights with. Previously you've seen me talking about Sonoff Mini Zigbee and you have to say these are actually almost identical, apart from being thicker, they actually come with extra features and this is why I wanted to highlight this and talk uh, in details about those two devices. The most exciting thing is that Agara is actually taking the Zigbee devices into Western markets, which means you'll be able to get these from Amazon and, well, they're gonna appear on the very next day at your doorstep. I've mentioned they come in two flavors. First, there is a Agara single switch module T1 with neutral. So obviously you're gonna need a neutral connection to power this on, link it to your wall switch and then operate the lights. But that's not the only feature. It comes also with power metering included, so you'll be able to extract information about the electricity use. This relay is rated for 10 amps, so you shouldn't really have any problems connecting lights at your house. It's worth mentioning that it's gonna work with toggle switches and push button switches. And as a bonus, it also supports the power on behavior if you choose to set so. The second switch is also called Agara Switch Module T1, and I'm, yes, I'm reading this, but this comes with no neutral connection, which means it's gonna be most likely a preferred choice for uh, consumers in UK. I do not have a neutral wire in my switches, so this is something I would use it for. It's really nice to see a switch like that because it's a one of the first Zigbee devices without a neutral I had my hands on. There are a couple of differences between these two. No neutral version doesn't have power monitoring and the integrated relay is only rated at 5 amps. It's still plenty to drive your lights, but just bear that in mind if you're going to power something more substantial than lights. Now that you know what's the crack about, let's get them hooked up and play with the relays. When it comes to the relay with the neutral cable, I have the same complaint I have with Shelly devices. It doesn't have six terminals. It comes with a five terminals, which means you'll have to splice the neutral cable in order to make it work. It's really annoying and I wish that would actually be resolved. Just take extra care if you're going to wire this yourself. Obviously you are dealing with the mains electricity, so if you're not sure of anything, consult the professional. Now L and N on the terminals means that's the power coming in. Then there is S0 and S1 responsible for handling the switch. Just be careful because you're going to be using mains to drive the switch, just like in the regular circuit. Lastly, there is a L1, which is connection that goes directly to the light bulb. And like, as I said, the neutral is missing, so you'll have to splice it and connect it into neutral terminal. It's totally different story with this switch with no neutral. It only has four terminals, but that's all you need to make the correct connection. Now there is a S0 and S1 to hook up your switch. Just be careful, it still uses the main electricity for that. And then you have a L and L1. L is the power coming in and L1 is the power coming out, leading directly to the light bulb. So make sure you connect those correctly. Both switches also feature a small button which have two functions. First, it's obviously the pairing, and the pairing is very simple. Just hold the button for a couple of seconds and it will link to your uh, Zigbee device without any problems. However, if you triple press the button, it will give you a readout on how strong the link is with your Zigbee hub. A very useful feature if you want to verify that the link is strong enough for your use cases. Now that these are wired, let's take a look at the Agara app. Now, you've probably have seen the Agara app in my last video, so you know it's very zen-alike and clean. Both switches uh, take about half a second to update uh, whether you're using the app or whether you're using voice assistance. Now, the changes are quick if you're using wall switches, so expect that as your default behavior. 
I've mentioned that the switch with a neutral wire comes with electricity monitoring, so you'll be able to see current uh, power consumption and the total consumption over time, which can be split into several views, including a day, week, month, and a year. What's missing at the surface is lack the schedules and timers. However, Agara moved these into an automation panel, so although they're not present in the menus for individual switches, you can still set your custom schedules and timer using an automation panel in the Agara app, so don't panic. As the Agara is moving to the Western countries with their Zigbee devices, they also are certified for the local use. So if you've previously been using some Chinese uh, switches and you were worrying about a lack of certifications, you can go ahead and take a look at Agara lineup and you will find something that is certified for use in your location. Thanks to Agara for sending me this. I still got two more devices to talk about, so if you're interested, well, you know how YouTube works, I don't have to explain you this. But if you follow me on any given social media, I'll list it just there, uh, you'll get access to random pictures and information about the projects I'm working on, and you get to engage in interesting conversations with me too. So thanks so much for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.